happening, guys? Back here again with Jason, ATF Speed. Hey, and in front of me, I recognize this. This is a 2JZ crank. And it looks like today we'll be talking about flex plates. We sure will. So we wanted to go over the stock flex plate versus the heavy duty flex plate. So this is a stock flex plate. We ran it to 650 horsepower. We're gonna get rid of this, show you how to do our heavy duty flex plate. Yep. Let's put that over there. This is our heavy duty flex plate. It's SFI certified, been tested. Um, we build these in-house, we cut them out on a laser machine, weld the ring gears on, uh, we engrave engine side so you know which side faces the engine. Um, let's go over a few things here. So a lot of questions that we get are these spacers that come from Toyota. Right. Do we use them? Do we not use them? So we do not use the stamp steel plate that goes on the back side. Right. We're going to use the machine one that's left over. Now we're going to put this one on the crank first. Right. Then we're going to take our flex plate that says engine side on it. We're gonna put that on the engine, and then we're gonna use the ARP bolts that we supply. With Loctite. With Loctite, red Loctite. We're gonna put those on there. And we're gonna to torque those to about 70 foot pounds. That looks awesome. And the nice thing about this flex plate is you've actually identified it and marked it as well for 1JZ, 2JZ, and GM. Yes, this thing has multiple patterns drilled into it for a couple different things. Uh, we sell these all over the world, so a lot of Australians buy these f from me and they have a little bit different bolt pattern on their converter versus the states. So we have their pattern in there, we have the 1J pattern in there, we have the 2J bolt pattern in there, and then we also have another pattern, it's a 7 16th bolt that we use on our two-piece um, adapter kits, which uses a steel flex plate with an aluminum converter adapter that would mount to a GM converter. And what it is, it uses 7 16th bolts six of them, but it uses the same 2JZ bolt pattern. So if you're using this with an A340 transmission, make sure you don't mix up and use the 10 millimeter bolt in the 7 16 hole and have too much slop in it. Right. We're gonna go over and we're gonna put it in the 10 millimeter hole where it barely has any slop in it. Okay, so there's actually two holes that would bolt it to an A340 converter. We wanna use the 10 millimeter one. Got it. So in, in quick recap, because I've gotten that question as well on my social media. People buy these fly, uh, flex plates and ask me this question. Right. And to recap, you ditched the small one. Right. Now we call it the stamped, right? But Yeah, we call it stamped steel because how it's all shaped and it is stamped out. The other one is actually machine, machine and ground right. finish on a machine. So this thin one, you dump, you still utilize your, your original factory Toyota machined. Right. So here's what would happen. If you accidentally use this, there's, there's a couple things. So first of all, on a 2J crankshaft, if you look at the amount of threads on the back of the crank, all right, if we take all this off, this is all we're working with right. to get a bolt to hold that flex plate on. So we use a bolt that when it's together without this, it's exactly the right length right it's that. flush right it doesn't go inside doesn't damage the block or hit the block or lock right. the crank up it fits perfectly to utilize every thread that I can in that crankshaft and that's another reason we recommend red Loctite you know we've we've this is our second design flex plate that we've come out with um, we just had it SFI certif recertified a couple months ago and they actually contacted me and said that we were uh, had one of the strongest flex plates they ever tested nice. uh, so the first time he tested it was 200,000 tensile strength. He says you only need to be a 30 to 40. He goes, I tested it again. It came out over 200,000. He goes, I had to call you and figure out what metal was made out of. No way. Yeah. Wow. So we know now we can run these to the 2,000 plus horsepower and not have any failures. The first ones that we did make when we got up to the higher horsepower stuff, using it with the aluminum adapter with the turbo 400 and power glide trainees, the metal was a little soft and it, the bolts would loosen up. Oh, so we went, we, went, we went with the metal. You can hear now how it, it rings because yeah. it's kind of hard. Now when you torque these bolts, it doesn't smash the steel right. and loosen up over time, right? It's, it's, a, it's a really tight fit, no more issues. Um, this can be found, just how it says on here, it can be found at atsspeed.com yep. and made in the USA, baby. That's it, everything. <laughs> That's Except awesome. for the... Toyota. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. So, Hope this helps. It can be found on atsfeed.com.
fit right behind your 2JZ crank. Yep, for the A340s and the 400s and the power glides.